it's 9 19 a.m and i am starting the approach trail got all checked in and believe it or not i ran into a friend of my stepdaughter mariah her friend emerald is here and i thought there was a chance i could see her and i did and got to meet her and say hello and she's starting the trail and is doing a few days but here we go Southern Terminus here at Springer Mountain, elevation 3,782 feet. Woohoo! So, this is reminding me of my PCT finish back in September in Canada. Rainy, yucky, I think I may be wearing the exact same clothes, but this is how I'm starting the AT. so good to have made it to the terminus um, even though the weather has been inclement but I feel great the rain has stopped for right now so I think I'm going to push on um, almost three miles to the next shelter and that was where I was planning to stop for tonight so let's see how it goes slip sliding away doing 11.6 miles today. Started at Amicalola Falls. For those of you who don't know, like my family, um, you can't just get to the southern terminus. You have to hike to it one way or the other. And I chose to come up the approach trail, the Amicalola Falls Trail, which is 8.8 .8 miles to get to the beginning of the Appalachian Trail. And so I made it to the terminus and then pressed on another 2.8 miles after that to get to Stover Shelter. Um, I stopped there, quite a few people there, and I had dinner there and visited with those folks. And then the Ridge Runner showed me a great little site about 100 yards from the shelter, private, and got my own little space here. So overall, it's been a great day. It did rain and thunder and storm a lot uh, today, probably for about three three and a half hours and um, from about 1030 to 130 ish um, but other than that uh, it looks like it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow it's so kind of sprinkling tonight but I'm sure I'm going to get a good night's sleep after that huge climb up the falls and and up Springer Mountain so that's the end of day one Oh yeah, I need to do one more big shout out. I want to give a shout out to Sydney, my stepdaughter Sydney, because she made me some freeze dried meals for this trip. And tonight I had sweet and sour chicken with rice that she freeze dried and added some mushrooms to it. And it was so, so delicious. So thank you, Sydney, you're the best. Good morning. It's day two. I slept about, I don't know, 11 hours. So that should be good. Should be good and refreshed. And I'm hoping to do at least 12 miles today. That's been my goal starting out the first two weeks is to get in 12 miles, depending on where the shelters land, but somewhere close to that. So we'll see how today's goes. The rain stopped and the sun's coming out. It's still a little foggy out there. I'll show it when I get out, get going. Um, but it's supposed to be sunny today and so hopefully the sun will burn that off in the next hour or so. And we'll see what time I get a start. It may not be any earlier than than yesterday at this point. I gotta do a little stretching and get going. And 
the sun has come out. Wonderful. Hopefully it'll dry out the trail. This isn't too muddy of a section here. So that's nice, but I've been dodging mud this morning. But beautiful day. Being an educator, I found this one interesting. These little holes here and then there's a plaque that says Hickory Flat Schools. Looks like it was open for 65 years. Pretty darn cool. Arriving here at Hawk Mountain Shelter and I decided to take a little side trail over here to this shelter because they have two things that's interesting one a picnic table where i can stop and have a second breakfast and second they have an outhouse or is a privy as they say here on the appalachian trail so we'll see what that's like it's got to be better than a cat hole Just had some awesome trail magic at Cooper Gap. I down two hot dogs and two little bags of chili cheese Fritos like it was nobody's business. Back on trail. Hi, I've made it to Gooch Gap. So today was 14.2 miles and a lot of up and then a lot of down. So I think it was over 3,000 feet of elevation gain today. Um, I injured my a couple of my toes before I left and the doctor told me, I did it like two weeks before I left. And the doctor told me to stay off of them for six weeks. Well, it didn't happen, but um, the, I, they're a little swollen. I felt like I was going a little slow today because they hurt so much. Um, it, it, actually, the uphill hurt less than the downhill. You can see these two are pretty swollen right now when you compare them to these two. And... Um, Hopefully, they'll do better tomorrow. We'll see. And you may wonder, why does she have her nails done? And why does she have her toes done for hiking on the trail? And it's because I can't stand seeing dirt underneath my nails. So um, I wash my hands frequently, but by having them done, I don't have to see the dirt when it's there. Or it would drive me crazy. So that is my... One of my vices here on the trail is keeping my nails done so I don't have to see the dirt underneath them. But I hope those two toes heal up sooner rather than later because I feel like they're slowing me down a little bit. But such is life. I failed to mention that there's also trail magic here at Gooch Gap and got here a little late. It was like six o'clock so they had already uh, served up all their hot food but they, I was able to get an apple and some peanut butter crackers and that was delicious and they're serving sausage and eggs tomorrow i can't wait i'm gonna eat that and hit the trail good morning day three uh, went by to get some breakfast and they weren't ready yet it was gonna be a while and i was ready to go ahead and get on trail because it's a little chilly this morning and I didn't want to stand around and wait the cold. I want to get warmed up. So just left Gooch Gap and going to try to do 14.5 today to get to Mountain Crossings. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Yesterday there was a little over 3,000 feet of elevation gain and today there's 3,500 feet. So we'll see how it goes.
Blood Mountain shelter during here to climb. And there's somebody I know. <laughs> Fireplace and Rufus. There's a second room. to Neil's Gap and um, got a cabin at Blood Mountain Cabin. So we'll be staying here tonight and then heading back out on the trail tomorrow. Really tired and worn out, but looking forward to continuing on the trail.